Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Annette. And this is our Chase for Adventure. In a Malaysian jungle, on top of a waterfall. friends today we finally made it to the Penang National Park we would have started recording earlier but uh, we got super duper lost the GPS <laughs> took us into somebody's house and we got to meet their cows and their cat and we got to go to a cemetery yeah that was full of Buddhist and Christian dead people <laughs> like tombstones with mounds it was really interesting i mean yeah. it was a culture experience for sure just not exactly where we were going for so now <laughs> we apparently have to go and get a permit and sign into the park so that like if we die or something inside people can find us and so we're gonna go do that now Penang National Forest is known for having all sorts of really varied wildlife including the monkeys, including tons of different birds, and having one of the most beautiful suspension bridges in all of Penang. <laughs> one problem, apparently last year there was a huge storm that actually started uprooting some of the trees that supported the suspension bridge, so since then it's been closed forever. So the guy yeah. says that there's no plans to reopen it because they don't have any stable trees that could support it. And obviously the safety of the people who are coming and visiting is the most important. I'm sure they wouldn't want a bunch of yeah. angry dead tourists. The <laughs> angry dead tourists. <laughs> yeah. But it was super sad because we were really excited to go see that bridge and we got here and it was like, wait a second, the trail's closed. Then we talked to the guy and we're like, hey, when is it coming open? And he goes, never. Yeah, like... <laughs> That was the end of that conversation. <laughs> there was no discussion about oh, it. Good to know. Yeah. There's also another trail that typically leads to Monkey Beach and the Lighthouse. Uh, that trail is also closed. I didn't ask why because we weren't going to go that direction. Um, so I don't know how permitted it is. But the game plan for today is actually to go to the Turtle Sanctuary. It's about a two hour trek, but it's supposed to be beautiful and also visit a Merrimictic Lake. A Merrimictic Lake is actually a lake that is part salt water and part fresh water and the two never mix. So, so if you cool. go into the water, you could feel the salt portion and then dig under and feel the fresh water portion. Not that I'm gonna go in it, but it'd be cool <laughs> to see it. <laughs> right. And this is also home to one of the smallest species of sea turtles in the world. So we're gonna go see them because they actually come and lay their eggs in April and August. And we're in August. So we're gonna go see babies. <laughs> Something that I absolutely love about hikes through the jungle is the pure amount of unadulterated noise that you hear around you. Mm -hmm. Literally, as we're going through this trail, you're hearing everything from the bugs to the monkeys to the birds. I know this is kind of silly to say, but it feels so tropical. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like a constant reminder like, hey, you're not at home. You're in a rainforest yeah. in Malaysia, <laughs> which is really cool. It is really cool. So we still have a little ways to go on this hike, but it's so enjoyable. We're literally just taking our time and strolling through. There's like no rush to this at all. Yeah. As a matter of fact, when we started prepping for this trip, like 10 months ago, we would <laughs> actually walk two hours every single day after work because we knew that we were going to be walking a lot. And literally we would walk through this really boring neighborhood. I mean, pretty neighborhood. It was pretty, but it was so boring. It's boring. It's like a traditional suburbial American neighborhood. And so now I'm telling Danny, it's like, wow, this is like the normal two hour walks we would take, except we're walking through a rainforest to the background <laughs> of monkeys and the ocean crashing against us. Ugh. Visible here are the red-bellied ants taking food from the nearby plants and flora up the tree root that they have to make it before sundown. Good job. High five. I can show you the world shining, wooded and sticky. Tell me, Daniel, now when did you last climb a tree and hide? I can open your eyes. 
Take you jungle through jungle over stairs. And I've got no more lyrics left to sing a whole new jungle. Something that I wasn't expecting while hiking through the jungle was the fact that there was really not gonna be anyone here. We've been probably hiking for the last 45 minutes to an hour and we've run into two couples. That's it. It's like one couple every like 30 minutes and then you don't see anyone, you don't hear anyone, nothing. It's really cool because we kind of have the jungle to ourselves but I'm waiting for the monkeys still because I love them and I want to hold all of them even though I know they'll bite my face. <laughs> Guys, there are these enormous ants that disappeared now but they're huge. They're like the biggest ants I've, look, 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 look. That will mess your day up. I wanna look up what the kind of ants those are. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking. Me too. Those things are massive, holy crap. Yeah, I think that that would hurt you. We just stumbled over a waterfall. Like literally they have this little bridge set up because to continue on the path, they had to make it so that you don't step into the waterfall. So cool. So cool. So on that note, we are gonna keep making our way through the jungle. after a two hour hike, which was beautiful the whole way. Uh, and we also, this is like supposed to be a turtle sanctuary. I don't know where that is yet, but first we're gonna like relax, dry our sweat off, <laughs> and play some Gruffalo. We've made it to the turtle sanctuary. They have all the little turtles in little tanks back here. And apparently this is where they grab turtles that look sick or injured and keep them here so that then they can release them into the wild. So let's go check them out. We wanna encourage you guys to make your own decisions when you guys come traveling. We just came from the turtle sanctuary and as you guys saw, like the turtles were just in these really small bins and maybe it's for a rehabilitation purpose, but honestly they look yeah. pretty miserable now. It's said on like all like the posters and the signs that it's for rehabilitation, but it doesn't feel like it when you walk into it. No, and it's really quiet and some of the bigger turtles are like alone in this really small tank where they're literally swimming into the corner and they're just, like, I just don't have a good feeling after going there. Yeah, something was off. Yeah. And we, we couldn't figure out what it was. Yeah. But if you guys do end up coming to the Penang National Forest and want to see this, keep in mind it's all the way at the end of the beach. We actually got here and spent like yeah. 45 minutes almost just walking back and forth looking for it. It's all the way at the end. Like, there are no signs pointing to it. And then you're going to keep walking. You're going to be like, am I walking onto another trail? If you hug the coast of the beach, you're going to make it here. But again, yeah, my recommendation would be not to come in. Yeah. Not to like support something that doesn't feel like they're actually trying to help the animals. Yeah. Behind me is something that's called a Meromictic Lake. So this lake here, which is typically filled with more water than it usually is right now, is one of the largest of its kind in the world. And what Meromictic means, as far as a lake is concerned, it actually means that the ocean water, so the salt water and the fresh water, join in into the same lake, but the water never actually mixes. So you're actually able to see the distinction between the salt water and the fresh water. I can show you the world. Shining, wooded and sticky. Tell me, Daniel, now when did you last climb a tree and hide? I can open your eyes, take you jungle through jungle, over stairs. And I've got no more lyrics left to sing a whole new jungle.